This is Chucky, a laughing <laughs> kookaburra. <laughs> And a very common resident in the city of Manningham. Did you know that kookaburras are Australia's largest kingfisher species? They've adapted for dry, arid environments. Highly intelligent birds, often called the bush alarm clock. They're the first bird in the morning to make a sound. The most famous sound of the Australian bush. <laughs> Now, most people think the kookaburras are laughing and telling you a joke. Uh-uh. They're highly aggressive and territorial. When they make that sound, they're basically telling you to back off, stay out of my territory, don't eat my food, and don't build a family in my neck of the woods. Laughing kookaburras in the city of Manningham eat baby snakes, blue tongue lizards, bugs and worms in your back garden. So they're good animals to keep the ecosystem balanced. Kookaburras practice siblicide, which means the baby kookaburras often push their siblings out of the nest so they can consume more food, ending in the death of their sibling. Hey, that's not very nice, is it? You can tell Chucky's a male, he's got blue wings and a blue backside. Boy kookaburras usually have bigger fatter, buffy heads, and females have narrower heads with a longer brown mask across their eyes. Kookaburras are carnivorous. They only eat meat. Often, people like to feed kookaburras in their back garden. Kookaburras need whole-bodied animals. Sausages and chicken meat are a no-no, full of fat and detrimental to a kookaburra's health. Kookaburras are great to have in your back garden or in your schoolyard because kookaburras eat up all of the baby snakes. A snake is no match for the bill of a kookaburra. Kookaburras work as a family group. They're highly social. Often, baby chicks from last year have grown up. They won't breed, but they'll help the mum and dad to raise a new family. That is cooperation. If you'd like to help out kookaburras in the city of Manningham, slow down in your car. They often fall victim to car strike along our Manningham roads. Remember, protect habitat around the city of Manningham. Don't cut down dead old trees. That's the place where kookaburras like to nest. <laughs> Avoid using rodenticides and mouse baits because poor old kookaburras eat sick and dying mice when they've been poisoned and they can die as well. What a great idea to encourage kookaburras to live in your own back garden. They keep the balance, they eat up all the baby tiger snakes and eastern brown snakes, and they eat up all the bugs as well. What a great animal.